Hello everyone. Today's video is quick and simple. It's to help parents with newborns dealing with their umbilical cord. So you know when your baby was still in utero, that umbilical cord was the source of nutrition and all the getting rid of all the metabolic waste products. It does everything for your entire baby's circulation. So uh, if you look to the umbilical cord itself, there are two arteries and one vein. So I always remember that by AVA, two A's and one V. Uh, and so in, while the baby's still inside, it is critically important. A lot of the really big babies will have huge, juicy umbilical cords to connect them to that placenta. Now, at delivery, as soon as the baby's born, well, in some cases there are delayed cord clamping. That's another discussion for another day. Uh, but after the baby's born, eventually, there are two clamps put on the umbilical cord and then, of course, cut between those. That's often uh, a job given to the dad in the delivery room to do sort of ceremonially. And then the baby's taken to the resuscitation table or handed to the mom to bond with well then eventually at some point either the pediatrician if it's resuscitation or the nurse if the baby's doing well we'll put a little yellow plastic cord clamp over the base of the umbilical cord near the baby's belly then later uh, before the baby's discharged from the hospital usually if it's dried up enough we'll uh, sort of clamp cut that clamp that's on there that yellow clamp and then you'll go home with the baby's umbilical stump with some purple uh, dye placed on there called triple dye. That just helps kill germs. It helps it dry up a little quicker. So it's not that it's black or rotten or anything like that. It's just because that very dark purple colored triple dye was placed on there. And most of the time you'll go home with just that stump and without the clamp. Sometimes if it's still moist, uh, we will decide to leave it on and then at your first uh, pediatrician's office visit, we'll remove that cord clamp in the office. So you're left with this little purple kind of hard, crusty uh, stump of an umbilical cord. A lot of parents are terrified of it. And truly, at exactly the moment of delivery, a lot of blood was coursing through there. But once it's clamped, that blood supply slows down, and then over several hours, it's really nothing for you to be frightened of. In fact, it will fall off quicker if you're not terrified of it and sort of move it around a little bit. Our goal early on is just to keep it clean and dry. So you can lift up on it a bit as it starts to separate from the belly and just kind of fan and get some air under there. Uh, years ago, we were always taught to clean the base of the umbilical cord with a Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol just to keep it clean, kill germs, help it dry out, which made sense. But then several years ago, there was a large study that found they actually detach faster if we're not doing the rubbing alcohol trick. Now, I have found personally, I'll get a few more lately that have kind of a funky smell because the parents are scared of them, they don't touch them, they're not cleaning them with rubbing alcohol, so sometimes they smell worse. But it is true that in general, we're seeing them fall off uh, even more quickly than they used to when we did the rubbing alcohol. So most of the time, the cord should be completely detached by two weeks. Now, um, leading up to that, you may see a little bit of crusty, you may see a little bit of bleeding. We're only nervous if there's bleeding that doesn't stop with pressure, if there are red streaks coming from it, if um, it just looks very abnormal or there's a whole red circle around it, then we need to see it. So for the most part, you don't have to do anything except don't give the baby a bath because we don't want the belly to get wet, leave it clean and dry. Once the cord's off and everything's healed up, they can have a regular baby bathtub bath. I got um, a question today from a parent because the base of the um, belly button still looked red when the cord had fallen off. And that's pretty typical. Think of it as sort of the bottom of a scab. And by that two week mark, when the cord does come off, the base is gonna look like you just picked off a scab and it's sort of raw and a little bit moist and a little bit maybe spotting you might see a little bit of blood on the baby's clothes in that area, but that's going to take care of itself very quickly. Once it's dried up a bit, then they're totally fine to have a regular baby bathtub bath and even get their belly button wet. Don't be alarmed either if you're not sure at first if the baby has an any or an Audi. Most of the time, it looks more prominent early on, and gradually that's going to take care of itself, so try not to worry about that. If there's a pronounced Audi and it's very large, sometimes it means the baby has something that is almost almost always harmless called an umbilical hernia and that will also most of the time take care of itself as these abdominal wall muscles grow back together and hold everything on the inside of the umbilicus. So try not to be scared of your baby's belly button, but don't get it wet till it's fallen, the cord's fallen off on its own, usually by the two week mark. And um, if it's already fallen off and you have concerns, then you could clean it a little bit with that Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol, but you don't have to routinely do that anymore. That's no longer the recommendation. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks.